Natalie Decker, this is uh, a big night for you. You made the race, you led the race, became only the third female in NASCAR Xfinity Series history to lead a race. How big of a night is this for you? All I need to say for anyone that's watching this right now, when things are going wrong and you want to give up, don't give up because the last three years were really hard on me. And tonight was a turnaround. I want to cry and I know it's only an 18, but to bring a car here with no points, to qualify it in, that was a win in itself. And to finish the race and load the car up and bring it home was just amazing and another win in itself. And this team, I really feel like they're a good home for me. And I I just want to say, again, to anyone who's listening, if you feel like giving up, don't. Because it took me three years to feel good again back at the racetrack. And I'm so happy to be here. And I can't thank these sponsors enough, Wawa and Amped and everyone else who has helped get me here today. Because this is what I needed. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for this opportunity. And it was an amazing weekend. You said it took you three years to feel good at a racetrack again. I, I, let me take that back, actually. When I first started racing in ARCA, I have had some, all the way up until now, I've had a few really good moments that made me happy. I was having fun. But 90% of going to the racetrack sucked and felt like absolute shit. So to feel this good coming into a sketchy situation where it could rain and we, could make, we might not make the race, and having the energy of my sponsors around that believe in me, the team that believes in me, no matter what happened this weekend, I already felt a hundred times better than that 90% of my career that has felt like absolute shit. So I'm so happy about this weekend. We took a chance and it worked and I cannot wait for the rest of 2024. Well, I'm so glad to see a smile on your face. You seem very Thank happy. You. Over that three-year period, though, where things were a little bit of a struggle, how hard is it mentally to stay with it? You know that you've got the talent. You just need an opportunity, right? It is difficult. There's been so many times where I have told my husband, Derek, my parents, I'm done. I quit. I can't take it anymore. This is difficult, and I haven't been given the right opportunities, and it's not worth it because I want to be with a good team that I can showcase my talent. And like I said at the beginning of this interview, don't freaking give up because it will turn around. If you want it bad enough and you keep grinding, it will work out for you. Well, Natalie Decker, congratulations on a historic night and an 18th place finish in Daytona. I wish it could have been better, but the car's coming home in one piece and we made the race, so I'm happy. <laughs>